I think my favorite part of the game is I, I love the atmosphere. Uh, I would definitely say the physicality of hockey. I know in the future we might get more support from the school um, and that will be fantastic. As of right now, we're not really getting that kind of attention. Um, I've been playing hockey since I was about four or five years old. So I've, uh, I've been playing for almost 15 years now, so I started when I was pretty little. I've only been playing hockey for Texas State uh, for this year, and pretty far, I love it. I mean, I love the guys. We're a really uh, tight-knit group of people, um, but I wish the, uh, the student involvement was a little bit more. It's definitely a lot different from where I grew up. Um, I'm from New Hampshire, where hockey is one of their largest sports, and coming here, um, you know, the, the culture is a lot different in the sense of people usually pick up hockey later in life here. So um, it's definitely been a lot different. I'm extremely grateful that I got to continue to play hockey in, in college. Um, hockey is, is still a growing sport in Texas and not every college has it. Um, but it, it's nice to have um, a good hockey team at the school that I chose to go to. Um, and I'm extremely grateful for that and grateful for the guys that I got to meet down here. Um, and I'm grateful for the next two years of playing hockey for this school. So, To be honest, I didn't really have any expectations. Um, I transferred here from a different school and found out that we had a hockey team. So I've just been grateful that we even have hockey here. So I don't really have any expectations. I'm just glad to be playing hockey again. The people that do come to the games are really involved and we really love having them out there. Um, so it's just something to build off of for the future. I try to get people to go to their games. Like I will text my coworkers and be like, yo, you want to come to like a Texas State hockey game? And typically their number one response is like, we have a hockey, we have a hockey team here at Texas State. I'm like, yeah, we do. And they're actually really good. Pull up their social medias and be like, look, look at all this action kind of deal. But I really would love to get more support out for the hockey team, even if it's just a quick post to my Instagram story to just try to get the couple followers to see that there's a Texas State hockey team and to get them to go to their games at least. So having uh, an organization, um, especially like the Ice Angels, is really helpful because um, they help us with a bunch of fundraising that we do um, and they're just, they're always there to like set things up and um, kind of step in if we need them to do anything. So it's, it's really nice to have them there. Um, it's just a really high energy sport. It's a lot of fun to watch. Um, I kind of have ties with hockey from like my earlier years. In high school I used to work in ice skating rink, so hockey's kind of been in the background of my life a lot. And then um, when I came to college, I found the Texas State Ice Angels, and they're a really good group of girls, and they just kind of brought me back into the sport. I definitely think that we're a lot more underappreciated than most sports on campus. Um, I wish that it was like that we got more support. Um, from the school itself uh, because as of right now our, our organization is entirely student-led. Uh, we have John Franklin who's our, our president he kind of runs everything behind the scenes. Um, we got Adam Saba our treasurer and he manages all the money and um, I mean as of right now we kind of operate like a fraternity only our dues go towards ice time and hosting teams for home games and stuff so um, I know in the future we might get more support from the school um, and that will be fantastic. This year is actually the 10th year of our program existing. So um, I would definitely say in the next five years, I would like to see Texas State hockey be one of the more noticed sports here, or at least up there with you know football, basketball, track, um, definitely. Uh, it's made me enjoy my time here at Texas State a lot more because I have those things to do on the weekends. Like I said, they're just a really good group of guys and we've kind of formed a bond with them, friendships, you know, and so that's something that kind of keeps me going is just, they're just good people, love the sport, and it just it's fun for me to support them as well. I've played on a bunch of teams over the years and I, I feel like this Texas State team is, is way closer than any of the teams that I've played on. Um, we're always with each other, always on campus, off campus, um, film nights, going out to eat, um, it's, it's more or less like a family. 
It's definitely not easy, but I think at the end of the day, it's worth it. The guys you meet and the people you get to play with, um, we're all collectively paying for this and we're collectively playing together. And it's almost like joining a fraternity. You know, you get, you get the same benefits of joining fraternities as far as meeting new friends. And uh, you also get to compete, which is a plus.